Good evening. This is Tina. Um, I'm getting tired today. So probably I want to upload lots of videos, probably two or three videos today. Then we are going to continue for tomorrow. Okay. So in yesterday, we st I stopped. Uh, I think I stopped on display details page. And today, uh, for the edited product, I was separated into two videos. So for this video, we are only do the part one, which is uh, display the product in a form. Okay, uh, it should be easy on this one. Okay, so let's uh, let me close this one. I'm gonna continue on day nine, okay? And uh, because every day what I did is I just copy the entire code, move to another folder, then start from there. I want to continue on this one, so, uh, <coughs> excuse me, because I just, I don't know record a lot, so I just using the day uh, nine, okay? Actually it should be day 10, okay? And uh, hey, what, what's the changes I made? Uh, let me let me take a look at. Let, uh, let me uh, revert. Discard all the changes. Discard. Sometimes, sometimes, if I'm not not a certain with something, I will write the code first, delete everything, then re uh, then record. <laughs> Otherwise, if I record in the middle and uh, I'm facing some issues, normally I will debug that and fix it. But if I'm facing issues, sometimes the issues, I don't know the reason, then it takes longer. And I don't want, I don't know how to edit the videos. So I have to record again. So sometimes if I'm not certain, but recently I rarely do that. So let's start, okay? What we are trying to do is uh, when we go to the product detail page and uh, if we go this edit, okay, here we we'll show our um, form, okay, which which we we'll show the form and also has a preview the value in the text or text area, right? So how to do that? First thing we have to fix for the edit button. The edit button should have an ID which represent which product you are trying to edit, like the view detail. Here should have ID there. How to do that is first we go to our index edges. To fix this part, it's not a ID, it should be underscore ID, okay? Because yesterday I changed our demo here. A uh, model, sorry, not a demo. Model here, which here is I underscore ID to match the keywords, the primary key field inside the MongoDB, right? So here I using PID. Then when I enter, and here you will see the ID is there. So now the problem is when I click the edit button, it will show us the form, right? So we go and check. When I click this edit button, uh, it's gonna go to this URL. So first we go and to check which router handle this URL. So which router we to, we go to routes and we go to the admin because I start with admin, okay? Admin and we see this one is called uh, edit product and all the link you click gonna be the get, okay? So edit product, we go to find our edit product get. So this one. Edit product and this is uh, request params, right? This is gonna represent the value of after this slash, okay? And then we need to fix this one, edit product, okay? And the press we need to fix is this find by ID. We go to the site, find by ID. Here, you, let me remove, did I change it yesterday? Oh, we changed it yesterday, okay. Because yesterday we use this one to do what? We use this one to uh, get the to do the functionality, which is uh, view details. View details also need to find by ID, so it's it's implemented. It should be here, okay? And uh, we know find one gonna return a promise, right? So here in our controller, we should uh, not do like this way. 
we should do yes uh, since it's a promise we will resolve then okay then it's gonna return a product for us okay and in the then we will render and here we can have a catch okay and here product we will also have to change to be this product okay now let's see if it works okay this page when i click this one you will see all the values is uh, filled okay and we go back and go to this one also works okay so this is our first video which is a show when we click edit button this uh it will redirect to the form page and the form page will have the values for which the information we want to edit okay that's it for this video uh, next video we're gonna do is when we click submit after changes we made here then you're gonna save into our database okay thank you for watching this video see you bye bye